Good, Mark, I'm glad you're here. Uh, what do you have for the big guy? Well, where should we start? Where should we start? Where do you want to start? <laughs> I mean, back my my youngest, you know, thoughts as a, as a child were. I, don't know, no, no. You know. I think you missed the point here. <laughs> Uh, was it a good summer for you? It was a, a productive summer. Just worked out here for the most part once the whole all the contract stuff got taken care of. So I've just been working with the team and trying to get acclimated to my teammates and new ones. You know, you hear a lot of times when guys are able to put themselves in position to do well financially that they feel additional pressure. Are you one of those guys? Um, right now, I mean, the season hasn't started yet, but you know, I want the pressure. I want the responsibility. So I think that we'll see how I handle it this year. One of the things that I've seen over the course of the offseason as you and George both re-sign and all five starters are back, you have a lot of guys that are the same age sort of growing together. How important was that for you when you re-signed, knowing that this group can move forward together? I mean, it was great that they re-signed George, and I think this continuity is the biggest thing for us, having a full training camp together and, and being on the coach uh, Vogel for the whole year. So. Um, I think that we'll grow as a, a, as a team. We have a lot of guys in the locker room that are willing to learn and, and to step back and let other people show them what, what needs to be done. So it's going to be an exciting year. There is, at the very least, Roy, a perceived gap between Miami and the rest of the Eastern Conference. Do you buy that A, and if you do, how do the Pacers bridge that gap? I, mean, I don't really care about what people say, analysts say, um, reporters say. Uh, I just I know that I feel of confident in what we're capable of, of doing. So anybody could be beat on any other on any given night. So it's just a good team that can put it together. So I think that uh, Miami is a good team, but I think we have the pieces to really go to push them extremely far this year. All right, we've got the iPad here. You can reach us via Twitter, Facebook with your questions for Roy. Uh, this is from Evan. Uh, Roy, uh, what have your MMA workouts helped you uh, with your NBA game? And I do want to ask you about working out with Mike Wells. How did he fare from, <laughs> from the Indianapolis Star? And I, I made them. <laughs> Mike did well for the first half of the workout. Then we went to a little bit of the, the, the CrossFit, cross training, and uh, he did well. But there's there's some some film out there. I don't know if it's, it's available of him running away while he was getting hit. He was very, very scared. So, I mean, uh, hopefully a blooper reel comes out. But, uh, you know, it, it's out there somewhere. But no, MMA helps me get mentally stronger. Obviously, tough. Um, I get hit in the stomach a lot, hit in the arms. So I'm able to work on finishing in the paint and just uh, being able to finish through contact and, and just an all-around great workout. Sometimes you know you want to you want to train uh, and get and get better, but you know, not always having to do them on the court. So I think I'm able to do that with MMA. Pretty much covered what I wanted to get to. Do you want to go back to those early childhood things? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Uh, my, my kindergarten teacher was great, you know, uh, you know, playtime, nap time. So, no. Recess was Let's go. Pay, Let's go one other question oh, okay. from Ed. Yeah. Uh, what about Jan Mahinmi? Your yeah, he, thoughts about him? He's an extremely talented player. He can start on any team. Uh, we're lucky to have him. And uh, I think he'll be a good big body to play against in, uh, uh, in practice and get better. And I think he's going to have a really – he's going to probably have one of his best years in the league this year. All right, we need you to sign our uh, basketball here, Roy. I don't want to sign it. Huh? What happens if I don't want Then we start talking about your childhood and youth again. Okay. <laughs> well, you gentlemen have a great day. All right, Roy, you thank too, you very man. much. You guys. All right. Always Roy Hibbert with us here live on Pacers.